Hello everyone, this is Victor Wooten in support and love for J. Ross TV. Hey, what's up y'all, this is your boy J. Ross J. hanging out with my dude, the big dog Victor Wooten, y'all, bass player extraordinaire. And uh, man, sitting there talking to Vic, man, and he got a uh, some type of crazy, yeah. whatever you call it, Vic. Uh, yeah, I'm going to explain it. So this is one of my Fodera bases. Yeah. And there's a, a good guy uh, right outside of Nashville, Tennessee named Lee Young who went inside the base. You can see a little extra piece of wood right under the neck. You can see that little extra piece. Yeah. He went into the neck and wired up every fret. So it's my frets, my base, but now I have true MIDI coming from the base. So I've got a regular cable for the bass sound, but then I also have a MIDI cable. And I've got it just tied up so it doesn't pull out so right. easy. So, and I'm running this MIDI cable into a Yamaha uh, Motif module. This is a rack mount Yamaha Motif module. You can use whatever module you want. And here's a little nameplate, uh, fret tracks by Lee Young. Have my MIDI cable going in here. Then over here, if you look to your left, I'm yeah. using a volume pedal to yeah. control the MIDI. So if I come over here. Let me raise up. Uh, yeah. So, so I got the bass. Right? Yeah. But now if I hold something and step on the MIDI, Okay. And I'm controlling with the volume. So if you look here close, when Lee built the bass, he made this the volume for the, uh, for the MIDI. Uh -huh. But I didn't want to use the volume here because I didn't want to have to keep playing and adjusting the volume. Right. So he hooked it up so I could use a volume pedal. But this is where it gets really cool. Lee, uh, he, Lee told me that the volume knob is just sending MIDI so it can be anything, right? So if you listen closely, when I'm playing this sound, check it out, when I turn the volume knob, you'll hear it get brighter. Right? Yeah. So I can make the volume knob do any, any MIDI command. So also on the bass, there's a red button, okay? A red button. When I push down this red button and hold it down, now look at my left hand. Now, if I touch a different fret on my G string, I'm going to touch the fifth fret while I'm holding down the red button, and I let go. Now, flutes. So now this red button, the red knob on this sound is pitch bend. So if I play a note. <laughs> Ingenious. Yeah. So, so now, you know, I can go back here and I'm going to touch a different fret. Sixth fret gives me organ. Check this out. So you hear the you hear the Leslie, right? You hear the speed of the Leslie. You hear it vibrating. Okay. If I turn the knob. Listen, listen to the Leslie. <laughs> very, very cool. Man. So check this out. Second fret, another sound. New sound. <laughs> so this is Fret Tracks by Lee Young, F-R-E-T-T-R-A-X. It's amazing. It'll play faster than you can play. There's no uh, delay at all um, because as soon as the string touches the fret, as soon as the string touches the fret, you get sound. Yeah. So it's not taking audio and turning it into MIDI. It's not analog to MIDI. 
it's contact. So it's just like a keyboard that's pushing down. So, as loud as you want. And I still have the bass. <laughs> so, because it's MIDI, we can do anything. It's amazing. That's, that's it's right. It's amazing. Man. So it's this, nice. you know, it's brand new technology by Lee Young. The door is wide open. You need to get it because you know it's going to take somebody younger than me with an open mind who can learn to really exploit yeah. exploit the the capabilities of this MIDI. You know, running it through Ableton, looping pedals, all sorts of stuff. The possibility is endless. You know, so check it out, Lee Young Fret Tracks. Get yours today. And you saw it first here on J. Ross TV. All right, y'all. That's Victor Wu. This is your boy, J. Ross. We 10 million strong and we gone. Peace. Yes, sir. <laughs>